When starting a cybersecurity career, there are a whole bunch of certifications that you can go for, and as such, that just creates so much confusion as to where you should spend your hard-earned money. So today, I'll be looking to the INE Enterprise Defense Administrator course. This map, of course, is aimed at an entry level and equips you with a whole range of topics of knowledge, which we'll cover in the syllabus. We'll also go into a full breakdown of the course, its price point, the exam, so hit like and subscribe if you're new here, and let's get started. So I just finished taking this course and I took the whole thing end to end, including all the videos, labs and quizzes. So for me, this was a great opportunity to try and fill any potential knowledge gaps and to build upon the knowledge that I already have just working in the industry. So with that said, let's take a look at the syllabus. This course is aimed at a beginner level with little to no experience in IT, let alone cyber, but you must be technically minded to understand the concepts at least. The course, or as i &E refer to it as learning path, is made up of nine smaller courses and these cover security engineering and change management, an introduction to security hardening, logging and sensors, identity and access management, vulnerability management, governance, risk and compliance, perimeter and network engineering, security architecture design, security engineering for business operations. So as you can see, there are a huge range of topics, but personally, for me, I would have liked to see a little bit of a touch of pen testing there, just to give an idea of what the attacker side actually looked like, but I might be a little bit biased here. So this really wide scoped course is made up of 51 hours or 123 clear professional 1080p videos with the ability to play at a faster speed, which is useful. There's 86 quizzes, all with two questions each. There's six labs and one sandbox lab, which is accompanied by a lab guide and a lab guide video as well. And of course the EEDA certification, which we'll cover a little bit later. So as you can imagine, it is a lot of work to get through 51 hours of videos. This is insanely long and it took uh, quite a long time to smash out. For me, I listened to it in the car, while I was on the train and when I was walking. But I would have liked to see the ability to download the slides which they go over in the video just for your own note taking purposes. It might just be my familiarity with the subject matter, but I did find that there was a fair bit of waffle during the videos and some concepts were repeated and this was largely because some concepts covered in another component of the course were then reiterated. So for example, logging was covered in logging obviously, and then a little bit of security architecture and other areas as well. So it became a little bit repetitive at times. Nevertheless, I can't argue with the quality of the content. It was professionally filmed, the audio was clear and the subject matter more importantly is on par with what I expect from the industry. Therefore, I can attest to the accuracy of the course. As for the labs, sadly there was only six plus a sandbox, and these are accessed through Apache Guacamole. No need to bring your own OVPN connection. This certainly has its pros and cons, which I've covered in other videos, but in and of itself, it is a useful way just to get straight into the lab and start playing around rather than having to fiddle with your own equipment. What I also found nice is that you are able to launch the labs from different areas, so different regions, which helps minimize the amount of lag you may experience. So in terms of lads, my only con here is that I really would have liked to see a few more to really help iron in uh, those concepts that you learn. But I also do understand that some things would be hard to create labs for. So while I'm on the topic of the quizzes, there is about one quiz after every video and the quiz only has two questions. I would have liked to see a couple more questions asked here to help reinforce my learning, but also I would have liked to see these questions worded better. A lot of the time these are very ambiguous, like which is best, when the answer can be very nuanced. It can't, it's not always, doesn't always fit perfectly into that tick box. So I would like to see a few better questions asked here rather than just some arbitrary what is best type of question. Now let's talk about exam because we all want that shiny LinkedIn credential to add to our profile. The exam is made up of about 75% of it is from multiple choice questions and 25% is from lab components. The lab is done in a Apache guacamole just like the labs in the course and you have eight hours to do the exam with a 70% pass rate. But also stay tuned for my exam prep guide coming very soon. So now let's talk about price. While you cannot buy the course individually on its own, it will you will need to buy a 
complete INE subscription, which is 749 US dollars for one whole year of access to the entire platform. It will also cost an additional $300 for the exam voucher as you get a 50% discount when you buy the lab pass. While this might seem a little bit expensive for an entry level course, and I would agree with that sentiment, it does give you access to a huge range of training resources afterwards. So after you finish your EEDA, you can move on to thread hunting, IR, forensics, pen testing, or anything across like data analytics, networking, cloud, and coding as well. So there is a lot of value to have here, providing you just don't do this cert certificate on its own. But that being said, I need regularly do discounts around Christmas time, end of financial year, Black Friday, you can always generally find a pretty good deal. Or what you can do is just click the link into the description, which is my affiliate link, which will always link you to the best available price and it'll also support the channel at the same time. So now let's sum up my pros and cons. In the pros, there is a huge range of, of topics to cover, which will cover so much and get you really equipped with to know how to dive deeper on all of these topics that you learnt about. It's up to date, it's relevant, it's industry standard, so you cannot go wrong here. It's an excellent introduction to the field and the labs and the videos and everything is pretty high quality. So now onto the cons. I feel like there could have been a few more labs just to really help iron in that process and get a bit more, do a bit more rote learning by doing the same thing over and over a little bit. The quizzes could have definitely been better. Also, I would like to see some sort of introduction of short answers or extended answers to really uh, demonstrate your understanding and have it graded by, by AI. And lastly, I thought the course could use a little bit of a trimming of the fat. It was a little bit repetitive at some points and a bit of waffle but I'd rather there be more content than less content. So as for the bottom line, this course provides an extensive introduction to the world of defensive cybersecurity. While the interactive component could be bulked out a little bit more, it is still a very valuable resource for beginners. It won't land you your first job in isolation, but it is a great step in the right direction. Anyways, thanks for watching. A little bit of an announcement, I'm gonna upload a video every two weeks just to try and keep this YouTube channel going, alive and kicking, so you guys can keep learning about the best places to learn and build your cybersecurity career. So obviously, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment below, and I'll catch you in the next one.